Happy, Happy Valentine! <laughs> Godt. Så er vi klar. One, two, three. Happy, Happy Valentine! So at the time you're watching this, it is, or it should be the most romantic yeah. day of the year. It's the day for celebrating relationship, true love, and all of that. But when you're single, that day can be quite annoying and you just feel so lost sometimes. And that's why we've made a single tag. Yeah. We have made some questions um, for this tag video that we couldn't find anywhere and I can't believe there isn't like a big single tag. There were some kind of, but it wasn't like... We found a single tag, but it was more of what's your favorite food kind of tag. And yeah. we were like, that has nothing to do with being single. No. So, we have made up a tag. So if you're a YouTuber and you're single, I think you should do this single tag as well. And please tell us so that we can check out your video. But actually this is in collaboration with Julianne. On her channel we have made a... Uh, Valentine get ready with us video. Yeah, just to get ready with us um, and we we'll talk about Valentine. Yeah, yeah, we talk about Valentine. So you should check that out. It's gonna be linked down below. But let's get started with this tag. Yeah. The first question is how long have <laughs> because that's one mistake. How long have you been single? Da -da -da -da. Oh. I have been single for half a year. Yeah, but I've been single for 19. Almost 19 years. I'm 18, but like... I love you. <laughs> the next question is why are you single then? Yeah, I don't know. You've had 19 years to like analyze everything. You should know what's wrong with you. <laughs> I don't know. I just haven't really found anyone I wanted to be with, actually. No. And I am single because... I don't know. You need some time for yourself yeah, to I be an independent woman, woman. Yeah. yeah, I was in a relationship for five years, so I think I just I need to figure out who I am, what I want to do. There are like so many big questions in life right now, and I need to figure out all of that on my own, I feel. So, yeah. yeah. Are you lonely sometimes? Are you lonely? Sure. I think... I think that is one of like the first things that you feel when you're single. It's like you kind of miss having somebody to like give you compliments and mm. yeah, you do feel quite lonely sometimes because you do that you do miss that kind of I don't know. Is that weird? I, I would say it's quite normal. I don't I wouldn't say that I was lonely or I miss it because I never really had that real connection with somebody but of course I can get lonely and be like, why doesn't I have anyone that, to comfort me or to give me like serious compliments? Like, yeah, of course. I don't, I think that's quite normal that you're sometimes going to feel a little bit lonely. And I think you can feel lonely no matter if you're with somebody or you're just by yourself. Yeah, definitely, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, sometimes I can feel a bit lonely and I can feel like I really just miss having somebody there, somebody that is texting me saying like you're so sweet or I miss you or something but yeah that's the thing I hate people should not write to me oh you're so sweet mm, let me be my me I, I think I would really be really bad in a relationship and that's maybe some the reason why I'm not in one place. sounds like it I would be like stop it. Oh. so how many boyfriends have you had I already, I already answered that pretty well I think when you talk about boyfriends, we can talk about like serious boyfriends and we can talk about I was a kid and we were together for a couple of weeks boyfriends and I don't think those are like very serious I think when it comes to serious relationships, I've been in one but when it comes to like overall four? five? I can't count I think five I was so yeah I started out early but we can talk about in Talk about that in another video. So, um, how do you meet guys? So you want to know, huh? Tinder. <laughs> Down the place. <laughs> no, I would say mostly at parties or in when I'm out clubbing. I don't meet. meet I don't meet guys. Don't meet guys. I don't meet guys. No. Okay. Yeah. I'm just lonely. 
wolf. But what do you look for in a guy? Long hair. <laughs> Long hair curls. That's a, a, that's, a, that's a inner quality that I really look for. <laughs> Oh, I think humor yeah. is so important. Humor and can read when I am ironic because I'm quite yeah. often that. Yeah. And can bear with me being hysterical. Yeah. So most handsome man alive. So. Uh. Uh. I can guess yours. Yeah. Zac Efron. Yeah, he's the number one. Like he's always been my. Sweetheart. I think it's difficult if or it has to be alive. like a man alive. I think Heath Ledger was so handsome. Yeah, he was. When I was younger, I would definitely have said Jack Bagamore. <laughs> but yeah, I don't funny. think that's gonna be the one anymore. Like, I want to say it's Benusbo. Like, if I needed uh, a man, man. It's, it's a Danish handball player. Yeah, we're gonna put in a picture yeah. right here. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Right but yeah, he's really handsome. Yeah. Yeah. Do you believe in love at first sight? No. I think you can be attracted to someone. Yeah. You can feel a very like strong connection and attraction yeah. to someone. And then when you get to know them, you might find out that they are a really amazing human being. And yeah. then you would think that it was love at first sight, but don't really believe in love at first sight. No. I don't believe that you just can see this but person. I, no, I don't believe you can just read the person and be like, that's my true one. But I do believe that attraction is very important. Mm. And I actually do believe that you can read a lot of things from like the way people look and the way that they, yeah. the way that they just move mm. and the way that they behave when you are watching them. So, but I don't really believe in love at first sight. No, me neither. So how do you prefer a first date? And any crazy dates? Juliana and I, we haven't been on a lot of dates. I've never been on, on a real date. I meet up with guys, but it was never a, a date, kind of. No, that's just, that's I've it. just seen a movie and like... But that's draw. it, like, when is it really a date? Um, I don't know. I once had, like, it was winter, and there were, it was like Snow, snowing snowstorm. big time. It was like, yeah, it was crazy. And I had this guy coming from like far away in, on his tractor, in his tractor just to get to me because actually it was like so crazy that you shouldn't like go drive your car in that weather they, we were told to like stay inside and he came in his tractor to visit me like from far away um, I think that was crazy but I don't think it was a date he just came to my place yeah I remember when I was little I, I really liked when you have boys over I thought it was so funny I was also really aggressive sometimes well you have to remember that I started Dating or seeing guys when I was like 14 and Julianne was 10 at that time. So, did love ever make you blind? I've never been in love, so I don't think so that I've ever became blind. I think there is a period where you're like, if you're like really in love with somebody, I think there is a period where you are more or less blind. Not like you may not be completely blind, but just maybe you overlook some things or just. Um, ignores things just because you're really in love or really liking this person so I think being in love means that you're somehow just a bit blind I don't know but not really like just madly crazy in love no I haven't found the right guy yet no that made that made my, you blind or made my feet sweep off the ground and how do you get over a broken heart so that says it all. I haven't really had a broken heart. Like crazy, I've been sad that I stopped talking to a guy, but I think it's still. I actually you know. think it's really difficult to answer um, because I feel it takes a lot of time and it takes talking to people about how you feel so that they can maybe share their experience and you can like help each other out. Mm. I think like talking to people and just knowing that you will be okay at some point, but accepting that right now you aren't okay and that's completely okay not to be mm. but fixing a broken heart it's not something you can just fix it's something that just takes time yeah. it takes time to heal but food is always something <laughs> good always 
warms my soul when I eat all kinds of food. Last question. The last <laughs> question from our tag video is if your love life was food, what would it be? It would be non-existing food. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, it would be a little bit pasta screw, you know, like basic, not even been cooked or anything, just dry. Oh. A fish, glass of water, a really sad fish. Like from all the tears, I know. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> <laughs> from all the lonely tears. <laughs> that was the last question and yeah. we hope you enjoyed this very long video and just remember if you are single, you're a YouTuber, you should do this tag as well. Yeah. So yeah, go over and check out Julianne's channel. She just posted her first video on her own YouTube channel. Yeah. So go support her and subscribe her to her channel and everything. And leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.